Coach, first your thoughts on the game as a whole? Uh, I, there's a lot of resiliency within our group. You know, they were, I thought we started well. Um, you know, I thought, uh, you know, Mankato was a pretty good, they're a pretty good second period team, I, you know, but I thought we did, uh, you know, held our own pretty well in the second period. And it was a good third period. Special teams were, were incredible for us. You know, the penalty kill was outstanding. And that starts, you know, obviously with the goaltending and then, uh, you know, the power play and getting, a, getting a, enough pressure to force a penalty shot. And then obviously Logan made that. Uh, it was, it took us a long time to get the lead in the game. Um, but when we finally got it, it was, there wasn't a whole lot of time left to the, you know, for anything to happen. Did you have a sense that you needed to get a goal on that power play to start the third period, or? No, no, but I, I figured I thought we'd put do a pretty put a good effort in on it. Our, our special teams have been very good, especially the second half of the year, and actually our our entire team has been you know played really good hockey. I think for a couple months now, um, consistently. So um, I, I've said before, I've, I've said to the guys, I've I've never felt. Uh, I've never really felt a pulse of a team um, in 30 plus years, 35 years of coaching that I, I feel with this team. There was, uh, you know, there's a lot of heart, a lot of, a lot of love in that room, and uh, you know, and I, I'm certainly part of that. And um, but no, I, I, you know, I, I, I never, you know, I don't count these guys out. They, they battled right till the very end and paid off. Was there any um, decision behind maybe taking a five on three there when they announced yeah. it and gave you the option? Yeah, but. I have so much confidence in Logan that you know it's. I was we weren't going to do that. We you know we still had a lengthy power play after that, um, so maybe if it would have been, nah, there was no there's no hesitation. I was gonna, Logan was shooting and and that's when, that's what was happening. But there was there was a brief talk. I asked the other coaches, do you want to take it and. It, it happened very quickly, and then I just turned away and said, Logan, shoot. Every time you guys tie it up, they come back with one. Uh, is there any kind of sense of frustration, you know, as you're trying to, like, get – you get back into the game and then they are able to get one right away and, you know, you've got to fight for it again? Yeah, no. No, it's that, that it's hockey. You know what I mean? It's And uh, I think as a goaltender, you kind of learn that – what happened in the past doesn't matter. You're only as good as your next save. Your last, the last shot does means nothing. So that's, I think, kind of how I approach it. Uh, Logan and Blake, you're on your fifth, fifth and final year here. It's been a roller coaster all season. How, how does it feel knowing that you're able to advance now and you guys are getting a chance to go to the regionals again next year or for this season? I'll take that one. Uh, no, yeah, it's you know it's been a crazy five years and. You no, know, it came up short the past couple of years, you know, in the in this league play, and you know, it's just like, exciting to get a chance uh, it's next Saturday. Let me answer it as well. Sure, if you want. sure. Yeah, it's nice to get the monkey off the back. Um, our team's been working hard all year, so um, to get rewarded tonight, um, trust the guys out there, and we just keep scoring. So yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Mike, was there any frustration for you um, after they scored that first goal? Because you guys have been controlling play and. They come down and they get that one shot and it kind of like hits him in the shoulder or whatever. And, you know, what was your sort of sense at that point? Yeah, it's frustrating for sure. But um, like Joe said, you got to have a short memory. So um, just try not to let them get to two. Um, keep you know, keep our team in the game when I can and be there when they need me. And and they did their job tonight, so it's really fun playing behind them. Uh, Logan, you seem to always be the guy to deliver in playoff wins, whether it be at GLI or CCHA playoffs. Um, what was going through your head with that penalty shot? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It kind of happens quick, you know, just in the moment. Um, just try to stay who I am, you know, not try to change too much. You know, I've done that move a couple times of practice. I mean, just low gloves on my spot. I saw it open and, yeah, made the shot. Uh, talk about the sequence at the end there. Uh, what was that like as you're crashing in that and pucks bouncing around? Yeah, I mean, I just you know there was uh, not, not too much time left on the clock. Just tried to do a funnel play to the net. And I think Isaac and Moser were going there, you know, just try to get towards the net. And I don't really know what happened there, but happened to go in. And yeah, I think we're all kind of looking at each other, uh, you know, who scored that. But yeah, it was awesome. Like, what's it like for you um, in that moment where you finally got the lead with nine seconds left? Yeah, and I got chills um, after the penalty shot goal. And then after we, I mean, technically won it, I mean, you still got to bear down for nine seconds. But yeah, I got the chills just seeing all the fans go nuts. It's, it's crazy. You get to see them back in the net so you can see everyone. But 
yeah, it was a lot of fun. I was really happy and just had to lock it down for the last nine seconds. Do you feel it's very rewarding having Jet here and Chase here for this moment too, as well as all four of you guys can make that hump and move forward? Yeah, I mean, for sure. But, you know, we're, we got uh, 20 other guys in the room too. You know, we're all a team playing for each other. Uh, no one's better than uh, the other, the guy next to him. So we're just playing for each other, and, you know, we got a good thing going here. Coach, um, you guys have had a couple different looks at semi final at home the last couple of years. Uh, how do you feel like this one was different? We won. You know, I don't, I don't, I'm not one of those, uh, I'm not a gimmicky kind of a guy. Um, I don't, so I, it's this team in this moment, you know what I mean? I, I will say that the, uh, the energy I felt in the rink, I think you guys probably felt it too, was electric. It, it felt more than the last couple of years, would you agree? Yeah. I thought that, I thought the crowd was electric. Maybe, maybe the, it's a big hockey weekend here with the senior tournament going on, but I thought the band was phenomenal. I thought, you know, I thought the crowd was electric, and uh, so that did feel a little bit, a little bit better. The last couple of times we hadn't scored. This time we get four. You know what I mean? That that certainly helps. I we well, we might have got one against Bemidji a couple of years ago. We might have lost like three or four one or something or whatever it was. But um, it, it I, I felt the the crowd felt different. The the crowd actually to me felt a lot felt similar. And I don't know about you, Calvin, to that Bowling Green game that double overtime game or whatever it was a couple of years, you know, a few years ago when we won the championship. Um, it, it felt like that. There, there, there's felt, I felt the electricity in the building and that was, I think the guys fed off that too. Uh, Logan, what did it sound like to you as you score on the penalty shot there to, to tie it up? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It kind of happens quick. I kind of like what Blake said, I was, you know, going through the line, everyone just, you know, celebrate, and it's just, I mean, you're happy in that moment, but, you know, we still got to, and we at that time didn't know, but, you know, buckle down for overtime and whatever's coming next the last five minutes. So, yeah, obviously thrilled, but, you know, you know kind of the back of the mind, you just got to keep going. Do you plan that shot if you know what you're going to do? No, I mean, I think as a four, you kind of, I mean, you're kind of reading the goalie at first. I mean, you try to make, make a fake, but, you know, yeah, a little glove, I, I feel like I like to go to that spot a lot, and, yeah, I haven't made the shot. Wait, what, talk about, you know, your big huge save there in the third period, but, uh, of that one play out. Yeah, I think it was a turnover if I'm right. Um, and so luckily I saw it out of the corner of my eye real quickly and just tried to scramble out and take some depth and get as big as I could. And then he made a move. So I just tried to throw my leg up as high as I could. And luckily I made the save there. With the single game elimination format from here on out, is there anything you do differently, Blake? Uh, no, I um, approach it the same way. Uh, since playoff, it's been pretty much single game elimination. And that's how I was in the NCAA tournament. So. Just everyone's playing for their lives, and you got to prepare like that every day. I think uh, are, are you telling the save? You said save. The yeah, the save at the end. of The second period was the one. I mean, that was the yeah, talk on the right. bench. That's the save we needed. Yeah. Like we needed that save. It goes three one. That's the minute whatever left in the period. So that was that was the one we really needed. And then uh, after that, you know, it kind of took care of itself. I I I do. We I think we all feel the same way though that. Mankato's a tremendous hockey team. Like, there's a lot of guys that have won a lot of hockey games in their career, and um, I think Luke and his staff have done an incredible job. You know, they're they're, you know, they're they're my they're my feeling for the the staff of the year this year. I think I think they've done just an incredible job. You saw a really really good hockey team on the ice, um, uh, you know, tonight from from Mankato. Certainly, every game that, that you guys have played against them for the last five years have been one goal or two goal with an empty net. But you know, what's it like for you guys to, to be in the moment of another game, another one of these one goal games against Mankato? Yeah, I mean, Mankato, they've been you know top of the league for the past couple of years now. And yeah, it seems that we always play them to one goal game, whether that's in their barn or at ours. And you know, they're gonna you know give you their best. So yeah, I mean, we uh, match well against each other. And yeah, we came out on top this time.